Blocks of masses 7 kilograms and 4 kilograms are attached to the ends of a light inextensible string. So we've got a light in inextensible string here. One end we've got 4 kilograms and then we've got another one 7 kilograms which is on the ground. The string passes over a smooth fixed pulley, so no friction in the pulley. The 7 kilogram mass is at rest on the ground. A. Find the tension in the string. B. Find the tension in the rod holding the pulley. C. Find the normal reaction of the floor on the 7 kilogram mass. Okay, so consider the forces acting on the 4 kilogram block. So what you need to do is treat each thing separately and look at the forces acting on them. So there's a 4 kilogram block. We've got the weight acting downwards, which is 4 G newtons. And we've got the tension of the string acting upwards, T newtons. The system is in equilibrium, i.e. No, no movement, or no force moving it, and therefore T minus 4G will be equal to zero, which means T is equal to 4G. The tension in the string is 4G newtons. Find the tension in the rod holding the pulley, so we've got to find the tension here. So if we now consider the forces acting on the pulley, so we've got a uh, T newtons acting downwards here, T newtons acting downwards here, and then T1 newtons acting upwards here. And this is the force that we need to find. Now as the system is in equilibrium, T1 minus T minus T is equal to zero. And T1, we know that T is already 4G, so T1 minus 4G minus 4G is equal to 0. T1 minus 8G is equal to 0, gives that T1 is equal to 8G newtons. So the tension in the rod, this one here, holding the pulley is 8G newtons. And then it says find the normal reaction of the floor on the 7 kilogram mass. So if we now consider the forces acting on the 7 kilogram mass, so drawing out the diagram separately, and it's always good you need to draw these diagrams out separately. So we've got the weight of the 7 uh, kilogram mass, which is 7G newtons. And then we've got the tension, and then we've got the reaction of the floor with the block, which we're going to call R newtons. Right, the system again is in equilibrium, and therefore we can say that R plus T minus 7G is equal to zero. And then R plus, uh, R plus T, which is 4G minus 7G, is equal to zero. 4G minus 7G gives me 3G, so we've got R minus 3G is equal to zero, which gives that R is equal to 3G newtons. Therefore, the normal reaction of the floor on the 7 kilogram mass is going to be 3G newtons. Okay, so there's been a video to show you how to find the reaction of the ground with a particular mass which is uh, fixed, connected into a pulley system. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.